life just like before you came into my world I wanna taste the freedom that I left behind when I make I wanna live my life just like before you came into my world I wanna taste the freedom that I left behind when I make you Hey guys and welcome back to Ellie Max Effects today with our new wall that is half done as you can see I think you probably noticed it in the last video so we have a new display in the background uh, today we're doing a Valentine's Day look and in the spirit of Greta Thunberg we're going to do some recycling today we have this little baby which is one of my favorite um, projects uh, that we've done it went to a convention uh, kind of died as you can see um, yeah didn't survive so we're gonna give this little guy a new purpose and well he's gonna be in this video so if you just keep on watching you're gonna see what we're gonna be up to You'll be needing intermediate skills, two hours prep and two hours for application. We spent some money on the foam sheets and silver spray, but then we recycled a lot of stuff. So yeah, there you go, money-wise. And speaking of foam sheets, there they are with a sticky surface on one side. So let's paint out some knife shapes because even if we recycle that old Winslow headpiece, we will need a lot of those sharp knifey looking things. And to uh, make them uh, less flimsy and flopsy, we um, put them in two layers here. Those sheets like that. Now those fake knives will be nice and sturdy uh, after they're cut out so let's get to it plug in our Instagrams a little so there we go a bunch of knives now yeah Ellie's sad she has to cut this up I know she's hurting hurting within and um, yeah I think it shows actually it does show yeah it does and there's another cool feature uh, with that headpiece. Now the government can't take my brilliant ideas. Now that was one silly dude. All right, so a headman with some horns on. You don't have to have the horns, but they, they're kind of good support here for the knives. So we simply glue them on. Any kind of glue will do. We are using our trusty old glue gun. And there you go. And if you don't have the ready painted um, knives, we will do that later on. So don't worry about it. On to the bra. Okay, never ceases to be silly here. So again, resorting to that Winslow headpiece. And if you want to know how to make that texture and the welded edges, we do have the whole tutorial. So check that out. It's basically just uh, foam sheets with little um, glue plops <laughs> on the edges there. And to make this armor, we uh, yeah glue those knife shapey things on there. And there was a little bit of thought going into this costume because these are all the knives that have been stabbed into this poor queen of broken hearts heart. All right, for the uh, arm armors or uh, bracelets, sort of, I don't know. I'm not, English isn't my native language, okay? But same process there. Glue those knife shapes on and boom, ta-da, there they are. And as for that paint job, because you might not have those silvery knives, we simply use silver spray paint and then it's looking like this. Is something you never see in our videos. Ellie, bored to death with prep work, doing millions and millions and millions and millions and millions and billions and billions and millions of <laughs> broken hearts. Yep, Ellie on broken heart duty, and this is the process of creating them from scratch. Chopping up that foam and cut the heart shapes out, and then half sort of but don't cut them off and yeah do a little funny angles there to get it look like a crack or something 
glue them straight onto that armor, as many or as few as you like. We didn't want to go overboard, just wanted them to be there as little symbols, if you will. So, a few on there. If you like this video, keep liking it and subscribe, it always helps us. And with the hearts in place, it's time to turn to that paint job, making them look old and worn and uh, crappy, basically. So we're using alcohol activated colors. You can use any color colors you have here. I suggest water based colors, though, because you want to make that um, that paint runny, just like Ellie does here. So that can run down over those knife edges and then flick in on some of that darker brown tones as well. So we have green and brown mixed running all over the place. And then that flicking becomes sort of sort of a shading there with those dark tones. And of course, running blood from those broken hearts. And again, we uh, saturate that paint with, in this case, alcohol. But in your case, maybe water. More water makes it runny. And this is our looks. Pretty cool, huh? And speaking of looks that are cool, I would say that Steph's special effects is cool. She's created an awesome doll and given it to us. It's based on our voodoo doll uh, makeup we did a few years ago. So go follow her, check her out. Her stuff is cool. And there in the background is that doll. I'm gonna put a video in here for you so you see it better. There it is. Looks awesome. All right, so we are using a concealer here to uh, sort of make uh, like a base for the rest of the makeup. A nice bright base here uh, with the concealer. Make that makeup pop. Just smudge that out a bit as well so we don't have any bad edges. And then we kick those pinkish hues into place. And this is, uh, yeah, this is a blending process. It's gonna take forever. We've sped it up a bit. Because, yeah, you don't want to be sitting here 40 minutes looking at that brush going back and forth. So this is why the application will take some time. Need to blend that properly, starting with this base layer of pink and going for a dark red. So now it's slowly turning darker. Basically the same process as before. But since we're going to have a shiny, nice little highlight there in the middle, we just leave that for now. So this is the process. We deepen those tones on the edges. See? Even darker. Another layer. And then to really deepen it and the edges there, that nice warm brown tone. And that's the rule of thumb. The darker tones always makes for depth, All right? Then we are back to much brighter tones here on the center of the eyelids to really make that cool transition between the tones here. It's gonna look nice and shiny, that eyelid, when we are done. But first, let's blend. Blend to the bone. Slightly going outwards from that center line. Who are Alien Max? Find out on our Instagram. Zelenor Rose, Xander, Max, Moser. See you there. Of course, some eyeliner there to kick the punch in those eyes. Just following the lash line. We keep on that black track with a bit of a larger brush there to be able to blend that line into the rest of the makeup. 
with those dark tones adding that solid punch and pow to the eye. bit of mascara please and then it's time for those lashes looking like this use whatever you feel you want for your queen of broken hearts sun powder yep need it let's shade the hell out of this face and uh yeah we've sped this up a bit because it's gonna be layers again we're beginning with this dark brown tone shaping our face and uh, it's followed by pretty much the same process but with uh, the pinkish tones that we have used before don't forget the nose slimming it off with those shadows we need to look regal when we are a queen of the broken hearts remember And don't forget your neck, otherwise it'll look like your face is ping bada boom bam pow and the neck is like eh. So, <laughs> right, keeping on theme here with the red and pink tones and exactly, not exactly, but yeah, you know what I mean, exactly the same process as before. Wherever we added the shade, we go in with the pink colors as well. Blending it out a little bit more than the round tones, though. And uh, that gives the power and the base there in the deepest parts where we use the brown. And the pink is faded out. Lips as well, of course. Let's focus on those. And just like with the eyes, going for the power with the darker tones. A bit of a tighter application here it's not as spread out we'll keep that a bit more sharp to make the jawline and cheekbones pop but we can of course not live with just the shades we need the highlights as well so let's go for those and yep you guessed it applied uh where we want the highlights in this case on the cheekbones there on the chin a little bit on our nose and on the forehead actually And then Ellie turns to her favorite sparkly shine. Yes. Look at that shine. And yeah, makes the highlight pop real well. So it's always a good idea if that's what you want. And it is what we want, isn't it? And then we go in to even things out a bit, making sure stuff is blended. All right, no edges. Then it's lip time again here. We line the lips. You are better off alone. In Swedish is... Själv är bästa dräng. And then go in with a bit more glossy lipstick here. And this is uh, actually sort of a reflection of what we did on the eyes because we are going in with a highlight here on the center of the lips. Yep. So basically, that's the third eye. And with that, Epic makeup in place. Let's uh, put on some clothing. On the topic of uh, stuff you usually never see in the tutorials. Uh, the dressing part. Yeah, we never see it, so let's not see it. It's <laughs> 
Då är det samma visa ja, som ja, jag ja, ja. Just let the colors flow down over your body. I have no clue where this uh, cool, cool, cool comes from, but yeah. Next time uh, I'll opt for micing us both up so you can hear our stupid <laughs> conversations that we have. Uh, so, uh, a bit of shading, of course, taking the same concept down onto our chest. And uh, a fancy heart will appear as we did the shading here. So, that's kind of fun, isn't it? Basically the same kind of layer system we have used on the rest of the body as well. So. And of course a little bit of blood there, a dash of darker, darker blood. And you know what? <laughs> when all that is in place, the last thing we need are the little scars. Just a nice, Nice little touch. You don't want to go overboard. You want to keep this glammy and fresh. And all you have left are those arm protection thingies. And you are done. You are now the queen of broken hearts. With all those broken hearts and the knives that has been stabbed into ya. Uh, tell us what you like about it. And uh, yeah, we will see you soon with more fun stuff. Bye.